I've decided that ChatGPT is going to pick my content for today. And it's not a premium version, so let's hope this outdated data it does not give me an outdated result because that would be very not nice of a feeling. But yeah, so yeah. Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Sonia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to do a Q&A, uh, which is going to be by ChatGPT because I don't have enough followers or engagement yet, which reminds me. Please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Um, I haven't even got 100 yet, but the girl you go right here has goals and I am going to achieve it. So anyway, I'm so excited to answer the questions. I've always wanted to do a Q&A, but no one asked me so many questions before. But thanks to uh, ChatGPT, I can make it work for me. Um, Anyway, so let's get right into it. So one of the first questions ChatGPT had asked me was, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? I was always inspired. Since I was a young kid, I would always film myself in my room. Uh, but due to lack of discipline, consistency, fear, motivation, all the stuff which I shouldn't have ever believed in, I would just record them but never post them out there. But I always wanted to have my own YouTube channel, have my own personal brand, and just um, I believe I have the power to connect with people very easily. And I wanted to create my own community where I can just people can value my content. And I wish I could inspire some people someday, especially women, because I think women need that sort of motivation in their life. And Second question, how did you come up with the new content ideas for a YouTube channel? Um, so part of it was through breath work. I decided to quit my job. I, I worked as a consultant. I decided to quit my job. And I think very few people have the courage to quit their job without any backup plan and go to therapy and breath work in order to heal myself and get over the past and just get over my fears and everything else that I wanted to work on and feel good about myself because a lot of people just hide behind what they're feeling instead of actually overcoming them so one of the ways I thought I could do one of the ways I thought was to tell people about how I got into this journey so it's some personal experience and second was I wanted to tell people the power of breath work and uh, third I use chat GBT all the time and I'm an addict to be honest and I also like to look at other trends that are happening on other platforms and YouTube search engine because I think people really treat YouTube as the second best search engine after Google well to be honest I don't even Google anymore I just go straight into YouTube or TikTok all right third question so the biggest challenge I have faced as a content creator is that um, I did not just want to come here and sit and start recording. So for example, the last two days, I did not record anything. And I was like, what in the world do I record about today? Who's going to listen to me today? Or like, my videos are not good enough, et cetera, et cetera, all these unnecessary thoughts. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just throw my problems onto ChatGPT. Just how you throw it on your therapist, boyfriend, friends, family, whoever. And I was like, whatever it gives me, I'm going to shoot it today. Because you know what? Like you improve 1% every single day. So I decided that I would just sit on the camera no matter what it takes, record it, and then get on with it. But another thing that I'm facing is that I'm unable to find, uh, not that I'm, unable, I'm struggling to find people uh, on YouTube who have just started so I can create my own community. I would love to support people and I would love if other people could support me as well. And I think it's nice to have uh, a little motivation and a community to help you grow. And if you are watching this and if you have just started a YouTube channel, please feel free to connect with me. I would love to support you and it would be great if you could support me as well. Fourth question of the day. What advice would you give someone who has just started their YouTube channel? Well, I've just started this as well, but like I've, okay, I'm going to give the advice. I think you should just go and post. Forget about 
I don't know my niche and oh, I, this person's video is so perfect. Should I hire someone for video editing or I haven't written my script? But I think if you just get on the camera, get yourself on the camera and just talk about anything, anything you particularly like, whether um, I was drinking coffee this morning or I decided to wear this outfit today or how great are you at reading books or uh, how pretty your earrings are for the day. You could talk about anything that you are super comfortable with and see how it goes because little things like oh my god you're gonna realize so many little things like oh i'm afraid i'm talking in front of the camera or this lighting is not good oh i'm i needed a microphone or maybe i needed a better microphone there could be so many different things that you could just figure out by using your phone and to be honest we improve one percent every single day and everybody should overcome these fears i would definitely advise anyone who wants to start their youtube channel just go for it stop going through all these courses we can figure them out later. You just need to start. Only when you start executing things, you will learn from your own mistakes, not from other people's mistakes, because anybody can watch content. Like how does Netflix work? You watch Netflix all day, but do you get anything productive out of it? Absolutely not. It's just entertainment. The same way you need to get things done in order to improve. So get started and let me know how it goes. Okay, fifth question. My most memorable experience as a content creator so well i wouldn't i would like i haven't walked the red carpet or been sponsored by any brand so i don't have any of those typical answers to give you but i think um i think so my most memorable experience would be my obsession to talk to the camera and i wish i had done it sooner because i mean well i'm happy that i realize it now and not 20 years down the line where you're just old and wrinkly but my obsession talking to the camera um feeling good about yourself feeling pretty is one of the most memorable experiences that i would say i had as a content creator and i really love recording every single thing on the camera like i've got hard disk like a whole hard drive of one tv filled with videos who's going to go through them when i'm old and i'm bored i'm gonna sit and watch these videos so that is my target to watch these memories next question so can you tell us about a time when a negative moment or a criticism affected you and how you handled it well nobody really commented me on like that but like small things here and there for example like oh what are you doing with your life why would you quit your job like that you don't have a plan um or you're applying for jobs you're talking about consulting online um etc like are people just saying that i'm just bullshitting on the internet but all of it doesn't really matter to me i believe um i am so strong and so protected that I don't think any of these negative comments affect me. I do not care what people have to say. And I really don't think uh, when people, I think when people criticize you, it's because of their own insecurities that they wish they were on your position. They do not have the courage like you. They do not speak well like you. So everybody likes to bring people down. So just forget about them. People talk, people love to talk, and they'll forget about it in a few days while you will move forward and things will get better. Uh, So no, but in future, if someone tries to attack me and if it does affect me, I will happily share it. Next question. So what is the process of, uh, what is your process for creating and filming your videos? In my case, at the moment, I'm still experimenting my niche and I don't really mind that. I usually prefer to do my research on ChatGPT, use vidIQ, use a bit of TubeBuddy, uh, TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy, I don't know what it is. Uh, and uh, of course, the YouTube search engine and the Google Trends. So I look at all these five platforms and then think how my audience are gonna be valued and how I can help them. I spend a lot of time thinking, but I try my level best to just come up with something check if it's trending and just shoot it one morning write a script and just go for it and if the script does not work i just like to i personally don't like to read through scripts i prefer to speak my mind but a lot of people just tell me to write scripts so i just do like bullet points and that works fine and i just film from my phone and edit it with uh with one of the apps and that's about it 
the only thing I invested in was this microphone. So technically you don't really need much. I just need the courage to just go for it. Seventh question. So what are your thoughts on brand collaborations and sponsorship? Well, I am hoping I'm going to be walking the red carpet real soon. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I am really manifesting it. So um, I think it's a great opportunity as well where these brands try to connect with uh, influencers. But I think micro influencers or content creators and uh, UGC creators, they should be more recognized. And I really, th really think everybody should be able to work with these brands because they've got so much money. I mean, I would love to get sponsored by any of these brands and connect with them and try their products and tell my community what exactly is actually worth buying because I'm a person who really genuinely checks out the project, uh, the product in and out before using it. So yeah, I would love that. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but whenever I do, I will. This chat GPT did not realize I'm a beginner. Do you mean the beginner or questions? Anyways, another question, which I am not going to answer because it says, how has your channel evolved over time and what changes have you made to improve it? Oh, to be honest, I'm actually going to answer it. So I started with a long time ago. I used to post a lot of vlogs and uh, I think the vlogs are dying. I'm not sure. But now I decided to do a 30 days YouTube shorts challenge. And after that, I was like, you know what? I need to go start filming long videos as well. I learned different ways of editing, I learned how to use the SEO engine, I learned about keywords, I learned a lot of different things every single day. And I try to improve myself uh, by 1% at least and yeah, I think that's how I've evolved and I am evolving. We're going to move on to the last question which is what are your future plans for your channel and where do you see it going in the next few years? Well, I've got big plans, okay? My intuition says I am going to be a millionaire. Um, I want to be on all platforms and I want to, I think I have the power to attract people, build connections, build this community. So I want, I wish I could, and I truly believe I will inspire young women, not only women, but like youngsters to come online and use these social media platforms which are absolutely free where you can just go and speak your mind and you wouldn't you don't realize it now you will realize later that nobody cares when you start like no don't think about your fears that oh my god they're gonna watch me and they're gonna come comment about me but like it does not matter second it's a free world you've got the freedom of speech the power of content creation the power of these social media social media platforms is insane there is insane amount of supply and demand that you can easily work with for example uh why does gary why is gary v so famous that he talks about everyone to just go ahead and just speak your mind document your day talk about anything you want on social media and it will work social media can give you so many benefits if you just use it in the right strategic way you can come up with a lot of uh, income platforms it's sustainable you can come up with your own brand there are plenty benefits out of it you just have to give it a try okay we give it a try well that's it for today's q a thank you chad Jubity, for asking me these questions and thank you everyone else for watching my video i hope this really inspires someone to start their youtube channel remember everyone starts as a beginner so embrace the journey enjoy the process it is absolutely beautiful to just climb up the ladder don't be afraid to share your unique voice trust me everybody has the impact you're beautiful you are extraordinary you're talented and let the world know about it build your own community you're perfectly capable of doing that also help me build my community so subscribe to my channel ring the bell and uh, give it a thumbs up and do forget please do leave in comments anything that you would like to watch because i'd love to try and if you're a new youtuber i would love to connect thank you ciao i believe i just had chad gp to ask me all the questions because people are not asking me questions what is going on in this world people be supportive okay be kind your girl here is trying 
I really wish everyone was as carefree as Emma Chamberlain. Like she does not care about what people think. If you look at her content, why did it do so well? Like it is so amazing how someone so little could not care about how they're going to post their content. And she's just unique in her way. So I'm sure you've got something unique as well. I'm a bit entertaining and... I don't know, knowledgeable, I guess, but I am trying and I hope you try as well. Keep smiling. Have a nice day. Ciao.